there must be a special there must be special attention with special uh, programs if those people are to get back to normal living and we urge the government to consider this very seriously to take us into confidence we have supported the change we have supported this government we voted at the last budget proposals with this government giving the the budget proposals a two thirds majority but as can be observed we are unable to continue to give that kind of unconditional support any more and we know the reasons why so it's time that the government takes this seriously and i appeal to both the president and the prime minister who we know intend well to make the necessary changes to bring about some kind of structural arrangements it is not enough to tell the honorable ministers in charge of various subjects to consult us and work with us because that doesn't happen the honorable minister for resettlement was complaining bitterly that honorable mavai senad raja has said that it is not possible to work with him and he said honorable senad raja said that without foundation it is with foundation it is with for good reasons that those sentiments were expressed we have unlikely uh made these complaints so when these complaints now start emerging from us we appeal uh to the government to please take this seriously if you want to actually realize reconciliation in this country actually make a change turn over a new chapter have a new sri lanka where all the people live in contentment and with pride that they are sri lankans don't have a sense of grievance that they are being discriminated against then the right attitudes that you bear in your mind must necessarily be translated into action and this is a golden opportunity and we ask that you don't fritter it away a golden opportunity because we on our part representing our people with the mandate of our people are willing to give that assistance to the government give whatever necessary to achieve that goal the constitution making process is proceeding but at the same time all of these day to day issues must be addressed redressed and people must regain that confidence that in a new sri lanka which the new government has promised things will be different that it won't be like before that we will truly be able to proudly say we are sri lankan that all the different peoples of this country will have their different identities affirmed and given its due place powers shared amongst the different peoples in such a way that mere majoritarian rule will not be the order of the day that everyone will have a share everyone will be able to actually use the sovereignty that is vested in the peoples of this country